load frequency control of single area system under that dynamic analysis. So, in the previous uh, videos, we are uh, seen about the steady state or a static analysis of load frequency control in a single area system. So, now we are going to discuss about the dynamic analysis of single area system. In dynamic analysis also, you will be having two cases, one is uncontrolled case and second one is controlled case. Static analysis which informs about the frequency accuracy whereas the dynamic analysis informs about the stability of the system. So, we will discuss about the uncontrolled case first. So, in uncontrolled case, consider the complete block diagram model of load frequency control of a isolated power system. So, under that substitute LPC equal to 0. So, the block diagram is reduced like this. So, we are eliminating this del PC assuming that there is no change in the speed changer setting. And to simplify the analysis, consider the following assumptions. The turbine time constant and generator time constant equal to 0 and the product of the generator gain and turbine gain equal to 1. So, the block diagram is further reduced like this which is Kp divided by 1 plus Stp bringing this del Pd to the left hand side it becomes like this del Pd which hits at negative and the feedback loop 1 by r into this block become 1 since kg into kt is 1 and tg is equal to 0. So, the block is simply represented as 1 and this feedback path is hits at negative since here you are having minus 1 by r. So, considering this block diagram finding the transfer function. So, transfer function is defined as the Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input. So, for this block diagram, the Laplace transform of output is del f of s and input is minus del p d of s. So, del f of s divided by minus del p d of s equal to here it is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Since here it is a negative feedback loop. So, g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. So, g of s is k p divided by 1 plus s t p and the feedback is 1 by r. So, 1 plus k p divided by 1 plus s t p into 1 by r that I have substituted here as k p by r. Now, taking LCM in the denominator. So, multiplying this 1 plus s t p with 1. So, it will be like this. Now, you can cancel this 1 plus s t p and 1 plus s t p. So, the equation is reduced like that bringing this minus del p d of s to the right hand side. So, now for step change del p d of s equal to del p d by s. So, substituting that will be getting like this and uh, so in the denominator take t p out. So, it become s plus 1 by t p plus k p divided by r into t p and uh, rearranging the terms you will be getting del f of s equal to minus del p d into k p divided by t p into s. So, in the second and third term, I am taking LCM. So, it become R plus Kp divided by RTP. So, now by applying the partial fraction, so del f of s equal to minus del Pd Kp divided by Tp, take this constant as common. So, applying the partial fraction A by S plus B divided by the second term S plus R plus Kp divided by RTP. So, cross multiplying, you will be getting AS plus a into r plus k p divided by r t p plus b into s equal to 1. So, the denominator term cancelled. So, this is the expression for the partial fraction. So, now we are going to equate the coefficient. So, first equate the coefficient of s. So, in the left hand side s coefficient is a here and b here. So, a plus b equal to right hand side there is no s term. So, equal to 0. So, comparing the coefficient a plus b equal to 0. And the second one, the constant term, constant term is A into R plus Kp by RTP. So, that will be equal to here the constant term is only 1. So, here A into R plus Kp divided by RTP equal to 1. So, from here we can derive A is equal to RTP divided by R plus Kp. So, substitute this A in the first equation A plus B equal to 0 you will be getting b is equal to minus rtp divided by r plus kp. So, now substituting a and b in the main equation. So, minus del p d kp divided by tp equal to. So, here a and b both are same except the sign. So, taking this rtp divided by r plus kp as common into 1 divided by s 
minus 1 divided by s plus r plus kp by rtp. Now you can cancel this tp and this tp and taking Laplace inverse of this term. So you will be getting the constant term as minus del pd kp r divided by r plus kp and 1 by s Laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1 and the Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus this term that is equal to e power minus r plus kp divided by rtp into t. So, here it is s plus this term. So, if it is s minus then you have to put plus in the e power term. So, here it is s plus. So, e power minus of this term. So, this is a final expression of the uncontrolled case. So, the dynamic response of the primary LFC loop to a step load change can be represented like this. Take t in x axis and del f in the negative axis. So, since in the equation we are getting a negative. So, and we can see the response if t g and t t are neglected the response is somewhat smooth curve like this. The variation is del f of s and if you are considering this t g and t t then there will be a small oscillation. Second case controlled case. So, in controlled case consider the complete block diagram and here we are going to assume this del pd equal to 0. So, substituting del pd equal to 0, the block diagram reduced like this and the rearranging will be getting like this. Now, by using block diagram reduction technique and considering the following assumptions that is tt equal to tg equal to 0, kg kt equal to 1. So, the block diagram is further reduced like this. So, it is a negative feedback loop applying the transfer function. So, del f of s divided by del p c of s equal to k p divided by 1 plus s t p g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Taking LCM in the denominator and cancel out these two terms 1 plus s t p and 1 plus s t p r remains. So, the equation become k p into r. So, this r goes to the numerator k p into r and the, this term remains same 1 plus s t p into r plus k p. So, in the denominator take r out. So, you will be getting 1 plus s t p plus k p by r. So, now you can cancel this to r. So, the equation become like this taking this del p c of s to the right hand side. So, for step change del p c of s equal to del p c by s. So, applying that you will be getting k p del p c divided by t p into s in the denominator take t p out it become s plus 1 by t p plus k p by t p into r. So, in the second and third term take LCM the equation become r plus k p divided by r t p. So, again in the similar way we are going to apply the partial fraction. So, which we done in the previous uncontrolled case. So, by applying the partial fraction you will be getting a is equal to r t p by r plus k p and b is equal to minus r t p by r plus k p. Substituting that in the main equation you will be getting like this and now you can cancel this t p value take Laplace inverse you will be getting this expression. So, the only difference is this del p c in the previous case it is minus del p d here it is del p c. So, this is a final expression of the controlled case. So, for dynamic analysis of single area system for uncontrolled case considering del p c equal to 0 your del f of t is equal to this expression and for controlled case del p d equal to 0 del f of t is equal to this one.